I've, I've got kind of a sorted past that I've been trying to make up for last time in the last few years. And I was in a program, when I landed here at Columbia College, I was in a program that you had to either be going to school full time or working full time um, to graduate from the program. It's a state run program. Um, and I, I ended up, I came, I, I came here to Columbia College and it was actually the best thing that ever happened to me. I, I met Alicia Colstead the first day I came here and I scored on the placement exam to, and, and to be able to go into the, the program called First Semester Experience that she explained to me. And um, it was, when I got into that program, I was terrified. I'm, I'm 50 years old, you know. I mean, I wasn't coming right out of high school. I came out of the school of hard knocks. And, you know, I mean, they, anyways, um, that program made it so, so I could succeed in college. You know, it gave me, like I said, I was terrified. It gave me that when I got out of that program, it, you know, it gave me the backbone to actually sign up for another semester, you know, to actually continue to come here. And since I got out of first semester experience, I've started another program here at Columbia College, Alicia and I and Krista, um, to help other people like myself, that, you know, non-traditional students. And I went and did outreach, did, you know, and I mean, and I got 30, I think it was 35 people that came and registered here at Columbia College because I told them, you know, I told them about the program that I went through. And I told them about the, you know, you can, you too can come and go through this program and you will succeed and get out of that lifestyle that, you know, I spent 30 years in that life. And, you know, and those people, I, I got 17 of them that are still, that are, go to class, they come to a class every Tuesday night and they came intending to be able to score into possibly first semester experience, the math 602 and um, English 151, and possibly continue to go to college to be able to get out of the lifestyle that they were, that they, you know, they're in. And, you know, to, to cut the funding or to get rid of first semester experience, I know of at least 17 people right now that will get shot down, you know, they, I mean, and there are people that have been told no and that they can't do this, you know, all their lives, you know. And to cut the funding for that program would just, you know, I, I, like I said, I know 17 people that have been devastated, you know. That have been, I mean, I don't know, it would maybe not devastate them, but it would make their, you know, their journey in college a lot, rough, a lot rougher, you know. So, I don't know. Thank you. Student and know right in that moment 
this is the perfect candidate for semester experience. This program is going to make them successful and it's going to keep them coming back. And most of we have a very high success rate. It's a very high success rate. It might be one cohort and only have 25 students, but the ripple effect from that 25 students goes out. Just like she was saying, her husband brought her and they brought their family, their friends, right? They're bringing students to this campus because of their successes, because they want to be other people to be successful like they are. And all I can say is that the it, first semester experience has an immeasurable impact on its students. We can all come here and we can all tell you, you know, how we feel, but five minutes won't, won't you know, isn't enough time. We could talk here for hours. And that's why we're all here. We really, really, really want you to reconsider funding this program. It's very important, and um, students in basic skills programs need extra levels of support. And it's the entire program that makes it successful. It's not just the English and the guidance and the math. It's all of the components of the program. It's the beginning trip where everybody bonds together and they become a family, right? And they hold each other accountable in their classrooms and they build lasting friendships. And, and it's the whole experience that makes it what it is. And without all of the layers, it's not an experience. And we're just here to advocate for, for our people because our people are out there. They might not have done this program yet, but they're still our people and we want them to be like us. Thank you.
that this is the first day I've heard of the concern. I don't know what the details are, and I don't know, um, I, I need to find out what has happened, and I don't know if, if you'd like, okay, well, all right, so can the board get more information about this? Tonight or at the because I, I just heard about it today. Okay, so can you can you share in writing or something later yes, with yes, us? Yeah. Give us more information. Okay. Is any okay. Anyway, thank you for coming in. Um, at this point, um, I think you can just reassure that we will check it out. Okay. Um, we, the board needs more information. We don't really know exactly what the program is and what the, because there's got to be a reason why a program that is so successful, we have to look at it. So the board needs more information and the president of Columbia College will get that to the board so we will take a look at that. Okay. Thank you. I, I will share that um, part, the big part of the issue is the, the, the funding source that supported the program has the um, allowable expenditures have been really ratcheted down. And so a good number of the activities related to the program, we can't fund through that funding source, is my understanding. So I would do more. So we're talking car washes here, right? <laughs> we will fundraise 